And uh, oh, there's another red dragon. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to take a look at my top three picks in terms of pilot skills for the dragon bots. So I did do similar videos to this uh, for the Greek and the Ragnarok. Uh, if you guys are interested in, you know, my choices for those bots, I'll put a link in the top right corner of your screen so you should see that pop up. And uh, yep, so let's get started with the green dragon or the Ao Quang. So I have three Scourge here, just decided to use this. Um, I actually really like the Orkins, but since they are going to be nerfing the Orkins down, I figured maybe I'll show you uh, the Scourge. And I think actually the Scourge might even be better because when you're dealing with tanky bots, uh, Orkins don't really do that well. I think Ignite and Scourge are probably the way to go in terms of uh, taking down things like Falcons, Invaders, Fenrirs, and uh, whatnot. So um, we have Last Stand, we have Heavy Armor Kit uh, on here. Uh, if you can't afford these expensive modules, uh, because they are expensive, 5,000 gold a piece and a 200 million uh, silver to upgrade, my advice would be to go for the armor kit. So put two of these on, it's a lot cheaper. Uh, you don't really even have to buy it because I think some of your uh, bots actually come equipped with it. Okay, So you can always uh, take that and uh, you know level it up and put two onto the Alquang. So uh, the reason why you want to do that is because uh, while this is in flight and you have damage resistance, uh, the vulnerability of this bot, uh, you know, skyrockets once you land, and that's where, you know, the armor kit uh, is going to become handy. Uh, here are the skills that I have on here. So, uh, as I mentioned, uh, you know, the armor, uh, you know, armor kit, uh, we have armor expert now. So, this is going to give it uh, more health. Uh, this is going to give it the ability to heal, uh, which is going to be important as well. Uh, this is going to help you uh, at least reduce your usage of power cells. So I think a mechanic is a good one, and uh, this is also a biggie. So uh, the destroyer skill basically allows you to do more damage with those missiles, and since it's homing missiles, um, I think it's a very good skill to have uh, on this bot. So those are the skills that I would use, and I'm just going to use lockdown ammo on here. A lot is going to depend on you know what weapons you happen to run on your uh, Ao Quang, and then we have the Ao Jung. Okay, so I decided to run Redeemers on here. As you know, you know these weapons are going to be getting a buff. I have Last Stand, uh, two Thermo Nukes. Again, if you can't afford uh, you know, these expensive modules, I would go actually with Nuclear Reactor. So it would be this one over here. And just like Armor Kit, some of your uh, bots will be equipped with this, so you don't really have to buy it. Uh, if you do, it's only 15,000 uh, silver, so it's not too bad. And uh, leveling up is uh, pretty cheap as well. So I would run three of those uh, on here. That's going to allow you to, uh, you know, increase your damage output uh, of whatever weapon you decide. Um, I happen to run a quantum raid on here as well. And uh, here are the skills that I would use uh, for this. So once again, we have, um, you know, increased durability. So this is going to give it more health. This is going to give it the ability to heal up. And I also have a wonder worker on here. So both of these are going to be healing uh, skills which is going to help you, or at least uh, reduce your uh, power cell usage. So I think these two are going to be a kind of a big deal, I think, uh, when it comes to using the Ao Jung. Okay, so those are the two that I would use. And then lastly, we have the Red Dragon, or the Ao Ching. So with this bot, it's very fragile. You don't have damage resistance, you don't have stealth. Uh, I am running uh, more range here. I have used the uh, blaze before which wasn't bad uh, the only thing is with that setup you need to use last stand because otherwise you're going to go down really quickly and um, because i'm using range on here i decided to use thermo nuke okay so thermo nuke uh, again is the expensive one if you can't afford that then go with this one over here okay so um, let's see what do i have i have advanced repair because like i said this body is very fragile and these are the skills that I would use uh, for it. So very similar to the Ao Jung, or uh, pretty much identical. We have uh, this one here, which gives it more health. This one, or actually these two, give it the ability to heal up. And then, you know, again, it's going to save you with uh, power cells. Uh, there is one skill here. I think it's called Destroyer as well. Uh, let me just show you if I go all the way down to the bottom here. So this one here increases ability damage. Uh, honestly, you know, it doesn't really do that much damage, just that single, um, you know, like kind of like a spark or scourge weapon, if you will. 
uh, on this bot. So that's why I decided to rather give it uh, the wonder work instead. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I would pick uh, for the Red Dragon. And um, I guess the rest of my hanger here. So we have the uh, Fenrir with this setup of mine, which I really like. I have Last Stand, uh, Anti-Control, Heavy Armor Kit, Advanced Repair, and then here are the pilot skills for uh, this bot. So I'm running pretty much, uh, you know, max pilot skills for the other two bots, um, but I'm only running three for the other because, well, that's the whole point of this video. And uh, yesterday I did do a video on the Leo, you know, how strong could we make the Leo? If you happen to miss that video, I'll put a link in the top right corner of your screen as well. Uh, we have the Ember, the Blaze, Last and Lockdown, and here are the pilot skills. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run two games uh, using... You know, these dragon bots uh, with these skills I have shown you so you guys can see how they perform, uh, you know, at max level, at least for the bots and the weapons. And, uh, yep, so I guess let's hop into game number one. Okay, so game one we have dropped into moon map and I'm going to start with the red dragon first. Uh, this is the fastest bot out of, uh, you know, all the three that we have. And uh, let's see, we can try to get some of these guys here. I gotta make sure that we at least have, uh, you know, that beacon on the right side. So I'm just uh, moving on over to uh, this side. And, uh, oh, there's another red dragon. <laughs> We're just looking at each other. We're like, hey, nice bot. <laughs> okay. Um, I need to, I need to deal with these guys over here. So you can see someone's trying to fire their hydras or something at me. Um, can we hit this guy? I think it's this player over here. The problem is he has resistance and I don't. This is where the mechanic uh, sort of uh, comes into play as well. Um, there's a guy down below. Let's just see. Man, that guy's relentless. I also got to be careful here because... Um, what is this? Spectre. Okay, we gotta make sure we take him out, and I gotta fly into the circle here just in case. I think he thought that I was gonna go into stealth or something. That's why he used quantum radar, but that um, that's for the white dragon. Maybe he didn't expect me to run the red. I think, uh, is it this guy here that I've gotta get? I don't have enough uh, firepower to deal with this uh, this white dragon. He's going to go into flight here soon, and uh, that's when I'm going to lose this bot. So this is where, you know, the vulnerability of the red dragon shows. So as you can see, I went down very quickly there, and I'm looking to see what's going on here. So we're going to drop in with the green dragon. Uh, remember, we have a resistance when we are in flight. I did lock that uh, player down there just in case. Uh, he has lost stand, but he should be going down uh, pretty soon here. And can we get this guy before I fall back? This map is actually uh, pretty tricky to play with uh, some of these dragon bots, uh, especially the red dragon. This guy's going to use his shield soon. He's going to lose it. Come on. There we go. I'm going to lock this guy down just in case. Let's go for this one here. It's always a good idea to take out the white dragons first. Ooh, I am getting smoked. You can see how quickly my health uh, drops once I fall to the ground here. I can actually, I think, yeah, that's the uh, the other dragon bot. Come on, I'm hoping he moves out into the open there. He's just going to flight. And we should be switching over to this guy. Let me just see if I can lock him. Oh man, we're losing all our beacons. That one too. Let's try to get this guy. I need to move into the center here. And I need to reload actually quick. Because my next engagement, I'm going to need a full clip. Let's try to get this. My team is... Holy crap, they are burning through their bots quick. You know what? This is going to end up being like one of those games, those close games. I was in a game 
just before this on a canyon map but I crashed and it was such a good game I was hoping I could use that footage too come on come on oh yes that last shot uh, but what's going on over here okay so I'm gonna move forward gotta make sure that we uh, hold this beacon down at least and uh, can I get this guy just in case save uh, my teammate there uh, we are getting no we're not getting they got the center oh jeez I've got to make sure we get another beacon fast here our beacon bar is gonna be uh, going down pretty quick you know what I'm going to move to the right side um, where is this guy yeah I'm gonna move this side here just to help out my teammate let's use a quantum radar just in case Uh oh, this is not a good spot. We got to deal with this uh, specter here, and there's also an Aries there. Let's try to get this guy. No, that's not an Aries. That's a Leo. No wait, there's the Aries. That guy tricked me. <laughs> oh, that's not good. This guy's a uh, shield's gonna be dropping here soon. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make a push for actually we got enough players here oh wait there is an invader we gotta back up here we gotta watch out no that's not an invader man i'm getting all my bots wrong <laughs> that's a, a raijing it looked like an invader dropped in spider bot let's just wait for this guy's a shield to drop here it should be pretty soon nope trying to weaken up uh, this guy's a shield That should do it. And Ooh, this guy's getting uh holy crap he's getting lit up. Man, that was Leo on the menu right there. Barbecued Leo. Does he have another one though? That's the thing. That guy might have another one. We just gotta be careful. Yep, there we go. And the setup I'm running right now is actually a perfect counter to the Falcon uh, because of the corrosion from that uh, flamethrower. So uh, yeah, this was a really good game actually because I only used Dragon Bots uh, in this one. Uh, probably better than the game I had before, but that one uh, was such an exciting one I wanted to use it and then right at the end I crashed <laughs> so that kind of sucks uh, let's take a look at you know how we did here with those dragon bots uh, so we ended up uh, doing uh, 2.3 million four beacons nine kills and uh, let's take a look at our teammates so uh, this player over here has a level 8 Aries um, level 8 Al Jung so he has some meta bots um, the good news is he is leveling up his weapons first and, you know, I always try to encourage that because that is the best way, I think, uh, when it comes to uh, upgrading your stuff. And uh, let's take a look at the other team. Uh, this player over here does have some uh, level 12 stuff and MK2 Leo, though. Uh, but they do have some uh, MK2 uh, weapons as well. Looks like they're leveling up uh, some of the weapons uh, on their bots. And uh, let's take a look at his uh, teammate. And uh, this player over here, level 10, 7, 9, 8. And the main thing here, and you know, this is what I actually really like about this uh, player's hangar. They are focusing on their weapons. A lot of players, um, you know, sometimes they are in the, you know, under the impression that uh, if they have MK2 bots, all of a sudden they're going to win their games. It actually has nothing to do with it. Uh, what this guy is actually doing is going to help him actually make more silver. So this way he is outputting the same damage as an MK2 player that's maxed out. But he doesn't have as much silver to give them, yet they have more silver to give him. So uh, in a sense he's actually milking MK2 players of their silver. So always think about uh, those things as well. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop into another game. I'm actually hoping for a larger map, uh, maybe... Uh, Canyon again or Yamantau or maybe even uh, Springfield or something and uh, we're gonna see how we do uh, with those uh, three dragons Anyways off to game number two 
Okay, so game two, we have dropped into row map, and this is Beacon Rush once again. I'm uh, starting off with the uh, Red Dragon. As you can see, I've changed the weapons here. Uh, we now have, uh, you know, spark weapons on it. If I can get this guy unlocked, that's going to be good. It's just more to delay this kind of push here. But it looks like these guys have it. So the, the downside here is... I can't attack here because I'm going to need some help. Let's see if we can try to get this guy before he gets into uh, the Coliseum. Okay, so we managed to uh, take that guy out. Uh, we've got a couple of players around the corner here. Uh, we're going to go into flight. Actually, let's see if we can try to get this, um, this invader here first. Let's deal with him. And if I can get this guy. Oh man, come on. I gotta reload. Oh, you can see how fragile this bot is. Uh, and I had last stand on there too. So let's uh, let's use the green dragon now. Let's see if we can get a little bit uh, closer. Uh, try to at least get a another beacon because we are struggling here. Oh man, I'm not going to be able to get there in time. Okay, we're going to have to make a move on this side. You know what's kind of funny? We have a Loki who is trying to... Uh, He's trying to get that to beacon there. Actually, let's see if I can try to lock this guy so he can't attack my um, my teammate on that end. I'm going to fly in here. Let's try to get this beacon. If we get this beacon, then at least we have a side beacon. Oh, okay. Yes, we got it. Let's try to get this guy with some flames if we can. There's also this one here that needs to go down. This is an Al Jung. Let's lock him. And let's uh, take this guy out before he can go into flight. And uh, you're going to notice I'm going to go straight uh, to this beacon here. Because we don't want this guy to uh, to get it. Uh, take a look at how quickly my health is dropping. And keep in mind, you know, this is at uh, MK2 levels. But it's not only that. I have a uh, heavy armor on this thing too. It just goes to show you how fragile it is once it lands. Uh oh. Where is this guy? Can I get him? I'm trying to... Yep, I locked him. There we go. That guy just jumped. I think he jumped. Oh no! Another Al Jung. This guy's so gonna smoke me. Where did he go? Oh! He glitched. Thankfully this uh, Ares was able to save me here. I'm at... What is this guy in? This guy must be in a Rai Jing or something. Just trying to move out of this guy's way. Nope. A Wayland. Let's take this guy out so he can't heal his uh, teammates. And let's try to lock some of these guys down as well. Oh no, we're going to go down. And they have a guy by our home. That's uh, terrible news. But you know what? I'm going to spawn over here instead because we need uh, some serious backup on this side. Um... Let's see if I can try to help out my uh, teammate there on the left side. Let's take this guy out, uh, this guy out here. And if we can get this, what is that, Lancelot? Oh no, whoa, this is really bad. Let me just go for this guy at least. You can even see how uh, vulnerable the, you know, the Al Jung is once you land too. You don't have any stealth or anything. These guys, holy crap, are they... Yeah, they definitely pushing through uh, on this right side. But the thing is, we're giving that, that beacon. Get into the circle. Quickly. Come on, change, 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 change. Yes. Okay, so once I once I go down here, I'm going to have to drop in with a tanky, a bot. Uh, very quickly, let's uh, do this quick. And I've got to make sure I stay on this beacon uh, circle. So this guy can't change it. Where is he? There we go. And uh, this guy here too. Let's move this side. Let's try to get rid of this uh, mender. Uh, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to see if I can perhaps push uh, this right side here. See if I can get this beacon. Because uh, things aren't looking uh, too good for us here. And the last bot that I have, let me just try to heal here so I can at least negate some of that uh, damage. My last bot is a Leo. 
we need to get a we need to look at the beacon bars <laughs> not exactly uh, working in my favor here if i can get this inquisitor i think they might potentially be losing yeah i think they might be botting out but i mean five five bots to four you don't know how many bots those guys have so let's get this beacon put some beacon pressure on them Just do this. Let's try to get a little bit uh, closer to this guy so that we can do more damage with those uh, storms and the Avenger. I think someone just dropped in on the right side. I see some sparks. No, left side maybe. Let's go for this guy. Okay, they're down to uh, they're down to two. This guy just uses his shield. I'm going to follow him around here and attack once that shield drops. And it should be dropping soon. Here we go. Let's take this guy out. Let me just heal. I wonder if he has another bot. Yeah, he does. He's probably going to spawn on the right. I can see the uh, red uh, arrow there. But we're going to 5 cap or at least uh, 4 cap them. This game actually got really intense towards the end. When they did that push towards that city there, that was pretty crazy. Let's go for this guy. Yeah, he's just gonna hide. Well, this guy is uh, actually wiping up my team here. I gotta be careful. If he gets... Uh, no, he was not able to get that beacon. But I'm going to eat through this invader. You can see his health. Oh no, they have another one. Ooh, you know what? This just got interesting here. <laughs> but I don't think it's going to be enough. We have four beacons. They should be going for beacons at this point. And they have a pattern gecko. Yeah, once this guy is out, that's going to be it. Just move closer here. Take this guy out if we can. And there we go. So that was actually a very exciting game there. Especially mid-game. That was a crazy push they did uh, to the city. And uh, let's take a look to see how we did. So we did uh, 3 million damage in this one. Uh, 6 beacons, 11 kills. And uh, let's take a look at my teammates. Okay, so this player over here. Uh, he has some, he actually has three Aries and a Loki. I think he was the one that was trying to get the, the home beacon. And then uh, a Hades here as well. And uh, let's just take a look at the other team. This player had some leveled up bots. Yeah, that's what I thought. So they have two Aries, uh, Al Jung, a Strider, and a pretty leveled up uh, pilots as well. I could tell from uh, when I was hitting his invader. That uh, was uh, quite a tank. And uh, this player here is the one that had the pattern geckos uh, with, uh, I guess, level 11 geckos. And, uh, you know, here's the hangar. Uh, two beacon runners. I'm uh, pretty sure this player has been struggling uh, just based on, you know, what I'm seeing here. Because they're running uh, two beacon runners. This spot uh, tends to die really quickly once you're in the air. Uh, Spectre Shock Trains is... Uh, it doesn't really do that much damage to tanks. Um, it used to be a very good uh, weapon, but not, not anymore. And uh, this thing, more for range, I guess. But that would be, you know, my comment uh, to uh, this player. Actually, you know, I'm going to give you some advice uh, if you are watching uh, this video. Uh, one thing that I would do is try to focus on uh, weapons that can do a lot of damage uh, up close, at close range. Um, pick one bot uh, to be your range, and the rest should be brawlers. Um, I really like what you're doing with your Hellburner here. I think that's a good idea. Um, I would probably remove the Ansel for this. Uh, maybe go for something like maybe uh, Glory and Spark. Uh, so you have uh, more damage output. I think it's going to help with your uh, damage. And, you know, in the in the end, uh, Silver 2, uh, the Hover. I've never been a fan of the Hover. But, uh, you know, if you are using this bot, um, I think I would use more. Um, I'm trying to think. Maybe something like Scourge or Spark or something. Uh, because that's going to help you uh, dish out more damage. It's going to give you range. So you can keep your distance. And it's also going to help with tanky bots. And I think between these two I'd probably pick uh, the Spectre. If you're going to take that route. 
and uh, maybe build a falcon or something uh, here instead, which uh, is actually not that bad in terms of uh, you know upgrade costs and stuff. So uh, yeah, so that's uh, what I would say uh, with this hanger here. Hopefully that helps, by the way, if you are watching. Uh, I'm going to go back to the hanger so that you guys can see what I was running. And uh, here we go, we have the Ignite. I used Lockdown uh, for this, uh, just so that we could concentrate that, uh, you know, the uh, damage of the flamethrowers. And then we have uh, the Viper weapon for the Ao Jung. So I changed this for more range instead of uh, the Redeemers. And uh, here we go with the Spark weapons for the Red Dragon. So uh, anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for, uh, you know, this video uh, in this, I guess, series. Uh, once again, if you happen to miss, uh, you know, the uh, video for the Ragnarok and the Greek bots, I'll have a link uh, at least in the top right corner, if I remember, you know, towards the end here. If not, I did put it at the beginning of the video, and uh, that's pretty much it. So I hope, uh, you know, this uh, video was helpful for you guys, and uh, if you enjoyed it, uh, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, and if you haven't yet subscribed, consider subscribing. Until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.